Imagine that you live in a world about 20 years ago. Take your time. You see someone cooking a very special food. A food with an aroma. Now stop thinking. Let me ask you whether it was a she or he. Think about it. Well, that speaks. Gender convictions still exist, even in this era of digitalization. And it so happens that we do not want to change it. It has become a constant thought. We are so driven by our traditions and taboos. We keep pointing the related phrases that are told not to speak and it's amusing that we treat it to be the way we want. There is always a negative thrive with gender. Although we keep saying that, it differs from person to person. If you keep thinking gender as a sensitive topic, ensure that your child does not get forced to believe so. Help them when they face consequences and ask them to be who they are, always. Find information that suits your heart and be indulged in it. Speak your rights and let the world appreciate you. I would like to convey that children should be raised equally. Do our dreams have gender? Do our emotions have gender? Does our habits have gender? No, these things does not have a gender, but our society finds gender in every aspect. In our society, girls should not play sports or boys should not do household chores. It's not about the work, it's all about the society's perspective. In every aspect of our society, men are treated as first class people and women are treated as second class. This discrimination will start from our family itself. Our family and society paves a way for men to achieve high and the also women are rejectively. If a girl wants to study or reach high, she should break many shackles around her. Her senses are also comparatively less. We should build a society where boys and girls live as an equal generation. Don't put gender inequalities everywhere. Let them be themselves. Don't raise them as a boy or girl. Raise them as a human. Gender inequality is not only concerned with women. Gender inequality concerns both men and women and has a strong impact on their daily lives. Historically, gender equality policies have been seen as women's issue. Let me ask some questions. Why men are not promoted to learn dance? Why men are not allowed to do household works? Or why even they are not allowed to cry? From childhood itself, it said that you are a boy, you have to be strong. From childhood itself, they have to start to suppress their feelings. When we come to financial area, the old burden goes to men itself. The society says that he is a boy, he will take up all the responsibility. And we all call this matters as traditions. A 19 year old tribal woman was dragged by her hair, hung from a tree and severely beaten up with sticks by her father and cousins in Alirajpur district of Madhya Pradesh for leaving the house of her in-laws. The 19-year-old woman had recently got married. Soon after the wedding, her husband went to Gujarat to work as a labourer. The woman was not happy at her matrimonial house where she was being allegedly subjected to domestic violence. She had allegedly fled from her in-laws house for the second time and started living at her maternal uncle's house. This enraged her father and first cousins. The incident came to fore after a video showing the woman being brutally assaulted went viral on social media platforms. Taking cognizance of the clip, the Alirajpur police cyber cell flared up in action to praise the victim. On July 1st, she was found at a house in Baidful Talao village. Subsequently, her father Kail Singh and three first cousins Keram Beel, Bhuvan Beel, Dinesh Beel were arrested. All you see here is a lack of humanity. I was shocked to hear that one of those who were brutally subjecting her was her own father and that's when I lose my confidence to live here. People were born and will die for sure and all matters is how you live. I don't know if she can live the, with this mental trauma or is this a habitual thing for her. 
I feel shameless as I'm living in the same society and also experiencing similar scenarios. Very much related to the situations that we are facing in our own society, but the difference is that our girls chose to give up on their own life instead of being judgmental and assaulted. Society plays a vital role here and what you should be reminded yourself is that you are comprised in the society. This was supposed to be a punishment for that woman for running away from her in-law's house when she was not happy with her husband for leaving her soon after her marriage and uh, if she was being subjected to domestic violence in a marital house. She ran away twice to her maternal uncle's house and this was what raged her father to beat up her so terribly and such an act of barbarism taken place. This is what caused her for a slightest bit of courage to run away from a place where she was treated illy and see what she has to face from her own house. Is this the uh, country which we want to build, build up for our daughters where our country itself is represented as Bharat Mata, mother, that means a woman. It's ironic. It's sad. A matter of shame. What else can we say? When the 19-year-old girl was being brutally beaten up, there were women and children watching over that without even a slightest bit of hesitation. Not even a single adult stood against this horrific cruelty. Are we expecting a future like this from the children who were watching that? Are we expecting a future without a bit of humanity and kindness? It's a matter to think aloud. Gender inequality and norms on the acceptability of violence against women are a root cause of violence against women. Harmful gender norms, gender stereotypes and are often used to justify violence against women. Violence is an extreme form of aggression such as assault, rape or murder. Violence has many causes including frustrations, exposure to violence media, violence in the home or neighborhood and a tendency to see other people's actions as hostile even when they are not. We live in a shady and messed up world where life of a person is taken away by the loved ones where goddesses are worshipped while women of any age are maimed and harassed. The only way to keep an eye on such horrific happenings is to make laws and rules stricter to keep check on the horrendous crimes. Though India became a free nation on August 15, 1947, it declared itself a sovereign democratic and republic state within the adoption of constitution on January 26, 1950. The constitution gave the citizens of India the power to choose their own government and pave the way for their democracy. Far too many girls, especially those from the poorest families, still face gender discrimination in education, child marriage, pregnancy and sexual violence, unrecognized domestic work. Gender equality prevents violence against women and girls. Gender inequality is root cause of violence against women. Gender equality is good for economy. It's a human right and it makes our commodities safe and healthier. Stop violence against women. For years now we have been seeing that women are victims of domestic violence everywhere around the world. In every socio-economic group, rich or poor, old or young, we estimate that about one in three women her lifetime is a victim of domestic violence. Violence against women typically means the crimes committed against women of any type, age, caste and creed. The crimes can be of any kind. The crimes against women in India accounted for 6.4% which meant in an average within 3 minutes of women fall victim to a violence. Far too many girls, especially from the poorest families, still face gender discrimination in education, child marriage and pregnancy, sexual violence and unrecognized domestic work. So I conclude by saying that both men and women should feel free to be sensitive. Both men and women should feel free to be strong. It's time that we all perceive gender on a spectrum, not as opposing sets of ideas. Thank you.